Oh, look at that, that's awesome. That is so cool. Look, you can look up there and see the heavens. So it's a luxury apartment in an old church, basically. That is correct. Here we are in Brooklyn, Williamsburg, Brooklyn, and there might be some cool kids here somewhere. Dude, how you doing? Thank you for watching. To get here, you could take the G or the L. Good luck getting where you wanna get to on time. There's always delays. The only benefit is right next to the train, we got this coffee shop, and they have a Chipotle breakfast burrito with bacon, and the espresso here is fantastic. And there are city bikes. Cool thing about this neighborhood is that there are restaurants pretty much everywhere. There's a happy hour on tacos, a clonard, must be a kitchen. There's also these really weird buildings. These should probably be torn down because they're gonna fall down. When I see an AC, maybe somebody lives up in here. See over there, they're doing construction. This will forever be an up and coming neighborhood. Now, before you move here, you might want to get a tattoo. It's art you can wear on your face every single day, just like Mike Tyson. T-shirt printing, vintage speaker, classic hats. Oh, it's by appointment only. Oh, here we have a little taco truck barbershop under new management. Whenever I see a sign for new management, I wonder if it's the same owner who's just gonna hire another horrible manager. Over here, we got tacos, kebabs, quesadillas, 11.50. Ooh, vintage. Vindaloo. Only if you hate yourself. Now this faux stuff I'm not really into, but look man, they got these awesome looking sandwiches, that ground barbecue pork right there, and it's open 24 hours. And then here we have a bakery that will sell you a rug to go with your coffee, made from scratch. I'll tell you what, it's gonna change your life. Okay. Are you an apartment near here? I am. I knew it. Thank you for watching. <laughs> One world famous chocolate croissant. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, man. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. It's amazing. What do you think? <laughs> it's good? It's, delicious, it's as good as, as he says? Oh, yeah. I think so. All right, now we're getting near the apartment. It feels really residential. We've got warehouses on one side and luxury apartment buildings on the other. That's a school. And over here we have Sternberg Park. Think of it as a free gym membership for your dog or for you if you wanna run around on this AstroTurf. There's also probably soccer at some point. There's basketball, which I have always absolutely sucked at. And then we've got handball, which is tennis without a racket or a partner or rules. Why do people play this because they're alone and they're sad and they're hoping for a better future and maybe they have bigger hands than me. This here is Graham Avenue, vegetable market, hospital center, drug store. Got another little breakfast spot. Whoa, and this place has a hot wing eating contest coming up. Or did you miss this and now you gotta wait till next year? It's called Sweet Science. Oh, look at this. We've got the sweetest illegal moped I've ever seen in my absolute life. I don't know what country made this thing, but man, it looks fierce. Tomos. I love how there's no speedometer or anything. You have no idea how fast you're going. If you ride that, the police will chase after you. Over here, you can buy a mattress and get your taxes done at the same time. They're gonna tell you to take your money out from under the mattress they sold you and pay the IRS. So right here is the Winson Bakery. Really good pastries, really good coffee, right here on the corner, down the street from the apartment. And there's the Winson Taiwanese American restaurant. Might be related, I'm not sure. Dude, what's going on? What's the story here? Was this a church at one time? This was an old rectory house. A rectory so, house. It's like a clergy house. This is where the uh, church's staff used to live. These are brand new gun renovated luxury apartments in the landmark building. Guys, if you want to be one of 18 lucky leaseholders, make sure you talk to Christian. I'll have his info below. This elevator's brand new. Are we the first people taking it? Yes, new cars now. Oh, goodness. <laughs> So 
so unique. It's cool that they like went with the original windows and stuff that they had. Landmark so building. they can't change any of that. They can do the interior, exactly. but something special like that has to stay. The exterior has to stay exactly the same. Ooh, right laundry, nice. Storage for you bike snobs. Okay, even in here, you can see like the really old details of this place. That is so cool. What does this go for? 3,400 gross, one one free. 3,400, beautiful little apartment for sure. Windows in four directions. So there's a lot of cool apartments in here, but we're gonna give all of these a second look and decide for ourselves. Amazing little deck for this studio. We've got the church view and the downtown city view with World Trade and the ESB right there. This deck is also 25 by seven. The ACs are pretty quiet. And if you wanna get a little more out of this, you can pop open the gate. This is the common roof deck right here through that door, but you have your own private little estuary. This also kind of looks like a little roof tiny house. Maybe you could fill this guy up with plants. Make yourself a little garden out here with a table, some chairs, in a hammock and since it's a studio your kitchen's right there you have to get a grill and maybe like a little gazebo or something there's a light so you don't get lost power outlet and to get in here we've got like a little half step and the door has this complicated locking mechanism that i think i just did correctly Cool kitchen. I really like the light strip that shines down upon the counter, very useful. This is already a pretty bright place, but if you turn that off, it's just dark here at night. It's hard to see what you're doing, but I'm pretty sure all of these apartments have the same kitchen. And it's encouraging that there's a dishwasher in the studio because that probably means the more expensive places have one too. And the fridge opens the right way. Cabinets look good. Got the little snack shelf. This is 18 by 12. Oh, you're gonna need a curtain. Because we got windows, windows, and even more windows. We got this cute little foyer. You can throw your stuff. Shoes in the corner. Two closets, one water tank. It's nice they have a full-size water heater. And look at this, this goes back really far, very handy. This is your heater and your AC. Now, because all the doors are against this wall, and because that door leads to the deck, you've got a kitchen area to work with, and then like a living space area. The water tank door's gonna stay closed, which means you can get a dining table in this area. Bed's gonna go in that corner. There's gonna be somebody that just puts their TV on this. But what you could do is get a swing arm and mount it in the corner. Do these windows open? Okay, they open enough for you to get some air, but... This is a big bathroom? Frosted glass on the window here, which partially opens. Nice, deep-looking bathtub. Soap shelf. Water pressure is good. We've got a massive medicine cabinet with mirrors. Storage underneath. Hard to believe that this is 3,400 a month. It's beautiful. Two units on the fourth floor. This is the $4,300 one bed with the deck. Interesting thing about this is we've got columns, we've got some windows that kind of lead into the building's hallway and an exit. Christian was saying the landlord might make a divider here, give whoever rents this the other half of the deck. Now the view is not as impressive as what we had on the roof, but I think this is really cool because we've got the roof literally over this deck. So you could use it when it rains and you're not gonna have to shovel snow off of it. Views pleasant, we're facing the street. You can, can you see the ESB? Yes, you can. Way over there. Can't imagine there not being room for a grill and a table out here. The apartment itself is really interesting. Again, we've got like another little half step down into our kitchen. Nice to see essentially the same appliance set we had upstairs and the super cool dome window. This is most of the living room, but we've also got this little enclave here, which is gonna be a nice den. I'm assuming we know how much these open. Yes, we do, okay. This would make an awesome area for a home office. Right over here by this column, you could have a desk, you could have a chair, maybe like a little bookshelf. The kitchen 
kitchen area can do double duty with a table and with a couch and a TV. That's the outside door. Just put your table in this area and walk around it. Then you can have a nice couch facing your television. Cabinets here are pretty cool. They went with like drawers in this apartment and they had to build this in around the landmark features that were here already. Oh, what a cute tiny window. Look, that could have just been a pane of glass, but it's here. You can have a plant, you can have your soap. How's our storage? Oh, great, water heater. Interesting thing about this bedroom is there's all these structural elements. So cool how they kind of like built this place around that. This one, I would put a hanger bar in. This is 12 by nine feet, nine inches. That's where you could put a dresser. And over here, you could get like another bar to hang stuff up. At first, I thought all we were gonna get was this one closet, but because of how this was designed, it's actually gonna be a very functional apartment. And across the hall from this one bedroom, we have a two bedroom. And it's gonna be interesting to see if the rooms over there look like this. View. Nothing like a street corner in New York City. This room has the same dimensions as the one bedroom next door. And I think we're gonna see this window pattern everywhere. Storage is better, and this place is 4,300. The living room slash kitchen, it's kind of like a gigantic rectangle. These windows give us the church view. See it way over there in the corner. We've got the same big window sills. These windows block pretty much all the noise. It's a modern building. This is also 14 by 10, so you can get a nice setup. Couch, TV with a table beneath it. Great room for entertaining guests. And all of these apartments have sink sprayers built into the faucet. That pressure. There's also a closet here, and this is not where they hid the water heater, so that's gonna be great for jackets. Heaters and ACs in all the rooms with little fancy remotes. I also like how here the bedrooms are on opposite sides. There's a foyer, another closet is, oh no, this is the bathroom. Very nice, this is what we expect in this building. This second room's actually a little bit bigger because it's about a foot and a half longer than the other. This is also gonna be easier to set up. Your bed could go in more than one place. I'd probably have it here in this corner, use those closets. In this closet, what do we got here? The internet cable box, oh yeah. Have the cable modem installer, put your things in here. And then everywhere you see something like this, you can just plug in. Also, these have video intercom. What's going on out here? I guess they're not stalker proof. It's crazy how the coolest apartments here might be on the ground floor. The common area is 28 by 12. 4,600? With a free month, it's 42 on a 13 month lease. This is where you're gonna get a massive living room set up. Super Bowl couch, TV. Out of these windows, we've got the church view. That's actually the bedroom right there, so you do have a lot of privacy. This can all basically be seating, and then you can have a table right here. Something long and rectangular that'll hold six people, probably a good option. Same same kitchen. And the similarities pretty much end with the bathroom here, which we've seen before, because look at these bedrooms. Definitely these are the coolest windows ever. That's like old concrete. They have like a little shelf. Maybe you'll see a priest wandering around looking for something. Dimensions are nine and a half by 12 and a half. Storage in here, phenomenal. But because of those doors, the bed is either going here or here. No remote for the heater. We have a separate unit. But as you'd expect, it's super quiet, very, very big. And we have the vaulted ceilings. Water heater's gotta go somewhere, but that's nice. And this room is 16 by eight, so very long. Windows face the back, bed over here. Now this door here, you're never gonna open this. Close it, dressers. You could probably get something else against this wall. This one is also a two bedroom. I didn't get the exact price, but it's less than the one that's 46 and it's more than the one that starts at 4250. Right out there is the street. That's why these windows are elevated, but we're still getting great light because it's street view. And we've got those nice high ceilings. 
kitchen's very interesting. It's the first corner kitchen we've seen. One, two, three, four sets of outlets. Same appliances. Lighting strip. Fridge opens correctly. In New York City, they usually install these wrong. I guess you have to have your table here and you've gotta have your couch kind of against this long wall or maybe have it kind of sitting out this way, mount your TV over there. But the bedrooms here just feel so impressive. Something about this high up window, I love it. And check out the closets. They've got extra headroom because again, the ceilings are higher. Look at this one, two sets of shelves. Easily you can fit a queen size or even a king in this room. Either way, the second room all the way down here at the other end of the unit. I hate it when both bedrooms are right next to each other. Then you hear your roommate yapping away to their mom asking them if they should, you know, get a new computer or something stupid. But whoa, check this out. This closet has a window in it. That's interesting. If it's the morning, you'll see your stuff. I guess that was there originally along with these other two. And the cool thing about this is they're not taking away design elements. Bathroom here, another 10 out of 10. Everything, whoa. This medicine cabinet's so big, you can't even open it without concentrating. But this is the same size bath that we saw in that studio. And no matter what unit you rent in this building, you're getting something that's good without any sacrifices. Check out the video description for Christian's information. I will see you in the next one. Subscribe if you had fun, or even if you didn't.